guys, it's Rekor. Uh, this is the official tutorial for North Pole Zupoy by Jupiter Jones. Uh, the song translates to North Pole, South Pole. It's off of their 2008 album, A Holiday in Catatonia. The drummer on this is Mako Hontheim, The Haunt, uh, as I think his nickname is, I believe. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. This line is really simple. It's one line the entire time. Um, the syllabic content is really interesting for this. Um, if I'm going to do a VP tutorial for it, it sounds really cool kind of through that syllabic content, but um, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so the concept for this, once again, you know, a lot of grooves I like to kind of break down on the hi-hat first, just to kind of get the foundation. Uh, on the hi-hat, it's going to be this. So one... So one more time, that's one and two and three and four and 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 one. So you know, syllabic content. The reason I'm mentioning it, even though I don't really talk about syllabic content for drum tutorials, because it's a lot more straightforward. Um, it just helps because it's a really good way to sing the groove to kind of get into the groove. So that's how you sing it, da da ga da da ga da da, and it can help. It really can help. So once again, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. I'm gonna slow down. One and two and three and four and 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 one. One more time. That's one and two and three and four and one and two. The entire song has that kind of uh, driving beat. So one kind of way to call this would be the train beat. Do, do, da, do, do, da, do, da. And a train beat is kind of a generic term for any beat that feels like it's uh, moving forward. You know, when you're on a horse, you're galloping, a gallop beat, a train beat, any of that kind of has that idea. So one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So now let's break it down more, bring in the rest of it. So one more time, that's one and two and three and four and 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 one. So one and two and three. So one more time slower, just kick it a hi hat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So your kick's on the one and the three of that syncopated line. One and two and three and four and 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 one. One more time. One and two and three and four and one. And I can move the kick around in that concept um, just to kind of, you know, I'm just going to keep it simple right now. But it's, you, know, you, can always, you can always move it around kind of as like a musicality choice um, as long as you're keeping that uh, hi-hat beat. One and two and three and so one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. One more time, really slow. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And now bringing in the rest of the kick. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one. Okay, so now the the last part is the snare. So the entire groove is this kick hi hat snare. The snare is the trickiest part of this. Oftentimes, adding in the snare is kind of the icing on the cake, as they always say. So um, I'm just gonna go really slow. And then I'll speed it up a little bit. So one more time. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and 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 four and one. A little slower. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So if I'm gonna take away the hi hat, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. 
that can help to kind of well, lay out the groove. So one and two and three and four and, or even just snare. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one. I'm gonna do that. Really, just uh, peel back the groove, bring it back. So take out your kick, take out your snare, take out your hi hat. Try to just play with the snare, then bring back the kick, then bring back the hi hat to really just pull back those layers and bring them back. So you can understand how it breaks down. So I'll do it one more time with just the kick and the snare, then I'll bring the hi hat in. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So the hi hat is that count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And I'm alternating too. You can alternate between like having the kick hits, no kick hits. I'll do one more time, just kick and snare. One and two and three and four and 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 one. A parallel line will be a mass and dragon since time is kind of a similar concept. Any of those uh, records that really have that driving forward kind of motion, one and two and three and four and, you can listen to it to kind of get an idea. So one and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and one. Now let's add the hi-hat back in, and then I'll talk about the last little intricacy of this line, which is a little bit tricky because the hi-hat's doing something very interesting in the last part of the bar. So one more time. So one and two and three and four and, one and two. I'm going to do without the pull-up right now. So the pull-up is the that last little embellishment. I'm going to do without that right now, just for simplicity. So one, two, just hi-hat. And one and two and three and four 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 and one. One more time slower. One and two and three and four and 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 one. One more time. One and two and three and four and 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 one. So now the tricky part is there's a little pull up. So let me break it down again. Take a step back out of the uh, out of the cake here and just do the hi hat. So. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So there's that little and, and that and kind of moves around. So let me do the whole groove and then to show you what I mean and then I'll break it down. One and two and three and four. One and two and three. So the pull-up moves between being on the four and being on the and. And there's different ways of kind of doing it. So I'm going to stick with one. And I would stick with one for whatever choice you make. Just kind of go with it. Because there's different kind of ways to play that concept. But it's essentially um, happening on the last two bars of the line. So one and two. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go with having it be on the four. One and two and three and four and one. The embellishment's there, moving it between the and and the four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And again. You know, kind of feeling that out, just really playing with it is kind of the, the, the key here. So let's stick with being, it being on the four, and I'm going to slow down the groove, and I'm just going to do the kick and the, the hi-hat, then I'll add the snare and last, and then the, this concludes the tutorial. And please, once again, go back, try stuff, really play around with it, and really try different contexts of this groove. So try the hi-hat with the kick, the snare with the hi-hat, and then the whole thing. And actually, let me do that. Let me do the, I'm going to do the kick and the hi-hat, then bring in the snare, then I'll do the snare and the hi-hat together, then the kick and the, and the snare. So let's do that. Full thing.
Once again, I'm playing with the count. So one and two and three and four. Now just the snare and the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and slow. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now kick and hi-hat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then kick and snare without the hi-hat. When you're not using the hi-hat, please just count it in your head. Really keep that hi-hat light going in your head. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and da ga 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 da. And actually, when you sing the syllabic consonant of the line of the hi-hat, you can really hear how it works as a trade beat. Da ga da ga da ga da ga. Really moving forward. Really having that driving force. One more time, the whole thing, and then I'm done. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Well, uh, once again, that pull up really goes between being on the four, being on the and, being on both counts. Play around with it, have fun, and thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos too. Take care, bye. Cheers.